Welcome to Puerto Vallarta. sunny, luxurious getaway in Mexico, come along with me as we escape to Velas Vallarta in beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. This resort is one of the top five or best resorts in Puerto Vallarta, according to Traveler's Choice, and it is a great place to unwind whether you're going as a romantic getaway, a girl's trip, or bringing the whole family. From the time you step foot in their beautiful lobby, you are greeted by their incredibly friendly and hospitable staff that is ready to make your stay the most memorable and relaxing as possible. Like this super personal touch where they had the pictures of me and my friends on this screen in the lobby. They even have a QR code that you can scan to find the most aesthetic and Instagram worthy spots on property to take your vacation pics. But as you can see, this entire resort is so stunning. So no matter where you go, it's definitely so beautiful and definitely worthy of the gram. This place is huge. Well, welcome to beautiful Puerto Vallarta. So we just got in. It was such a short taxi ride to here from the airport, which was so nice. I am so ready for this girl's trip and just three days of fun. So I'm here in Puerto Vallarta with one of my friends from my travel blogging group, The Babes That Wander, Greta, and then two other travel blogger friends, Zia and Alicia, who are both friends of mine that also live in Los Angeles. It should be such a fun week. We're gonna venture off resort a little bit and do some fun activities in town. Of course, very graciously hosted by Velas Vallarta. Thank you so much to Velas Vallarta for such an incredible show of hospitality so far. I just got into the room. Let me take you all on a little room tour. Starting off in the kitchen, it is so spacious and I love that it comes stocked with all these great little snacks and breakfast cereals. You've got a sink, microwave, a stove, and a refrigerator that comes stocked with beers and sodas as well as water bottles. And then you also have a freezer with some ice cube trays up top. It's pretty spacious. They had this lovely welcome macaron plate for me with a little bottle of wine. And I love the touches in the room, like the art. You've got this nice seating area if you wanna order in room service for four people. And then the living space is over here with a very spacious and comfy couch and TV. What I loved about the bathroom is it came stocked with toothbrushes and toothpaste and a razor just in case you forgot yours, which I feel like more hotels need to do that but it was very spacious had a nice shower and bathtub here's the bedroom I love the little shell behind the bed honestly I felt like Ariel waking up every morning and I found the bed to be very comfortable I slept so well here gotta have a full-length mirror so you can admire the fit am I right or am I right oh my god it keeps going not only was the room itself so spacious, but the balcony terrace was so nice as well. It had so much space and such beautiful views of the resort. I love that it had two chase lounges, another four top seating area to eat, and then two other chairs to sit in. I honestly feel like a princess. This is such an incredible hotel room. I feel kind of bad now that I'm staying here by myself. This is full on apartment. It's amazing. Time to get this girl's trip started. Zia is down at the bar, ready to get a margarita. So I'm gonna go down and eat the girls. Cheers! This margarita many. Oh yeah, I need that. It's been a long day. We're here and it's beautiful. Oh, are we talking to the camera? Yeah. <laughs> We enjoyed our first margaritas of the trip and some delicious guac. We got to watch them set up this gorgeous tablescape that was actually for our group's dinner later this evening. This is something that the resort does if you would like to have a nice, vibey, romantic dinner on the beach. <gasps> Ready for the evening. I have to shout out this dress. It's from the brand Show Me Your Moo Moo, and I will be highlighting all of my resort wear fits throughout this video. If you care to know, all the links will be down in the description box. 
but I think this dress is absolutely perfect for dinner on the beach, which they're hosting us for dinner tonight at the most beautiful setting that we got a peek at. First on our trip agenda was a little welcome cocktail party and guacamole making class up at one of the Ocean View Suites. Your own guacamole. So please, this, this is we call a morcajete. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, great I think my walk skills are pretty good, but I'm always willing to make them better, you know? I'm so excited. <laughs> First of all, we are going to put the avocados in the morcajete. So two, you think? Two yeah. halves, it's fine. Yeah. I thought you were being all fancy and wearing gloves tonight, Jessica. I didn't realize that we were all on the floor. Jessica with her fancy white gloves. Get it, Greta. Get it. Right. Smash it. Smash these avocados. <laughs> Red onion, cilantro, tomato. We use a little bit of cheese at the end if you want it. And if you want spicy, we have serrano chili. Definitely salt. Any excuse to eat guacamole is a good excuse in my book. Moment of truth. Okay, but in all seriousness, the sunset from the view up here was so stunning. The colors just got even more beautiful after every passing minute. It was breathtaking. Then it was time for our beautiful beachside dinner. It looked stunning under these glowing lights with the moonlight and the light coming from the remainder of the sunset. We had some specialty cocktails and the food was absolutely incredible. The chef came out to explain every dish. I especially loved this mahi-mahi they served us and then the dessert was amazing. After that, we decided to go to the lobby for casino night, which is one of the fun nighttime activities you can do on the resort. And they also were hosting a karaoke night there. So of course your girl had to get up and sing. I won't subject you to the audio from that, but if you can guess what song I sang and put it in the comments, bonus points to you. <laughs> Buenos dias, can I order um, some breakfast, please? I can stew with a fresh fruit plate, assorted yogurts, Mexican scrambled eggs, huevos sala mexicana, a basket of danishes, and a pitcher of coffee. Thank you so much. Great. Room service, here we come. Bye. Bye. All right, Mr. Champions. First item on today's agenda, we are going to the rodeo and we're gonna get a tour of the arena and all kinds of stuff. So I packed my best rodeo outfit, little Canadian tuxedo, these fun metallic Western boots. Got my sunscreen and I'm ready to go. Let's go check this out. Here at the Mexican Rodeo, Toredo, I think is how you're supposed to say it. And we're getting yeah. a little tour of the arena before the the games begin. Yeehaw, y'all. <laughs> Toreria, I think I'm saying that right, is Mexico's national sport and it is a very similar to a rodeo. But this sport has its roots and traditions in Mexican history dating back to the 1800s. These events consisted of various horsemanship skills competitions between the Hacienda's ranch workers, also known as charros, and the tradition is kept alive to this day. Um, okay. I need this hat. <laughs> Get it, Greta. Definitely make sure to bring cash if you want to buy fabulous hats or snacks or micheladas. US dollars definitely worked just as well as pesos here. We got treated to a tour of the grounds by the son of the owner of Hacienda Serena himself. In Spanish. This is my hat. This is my cinto. This is my villa. This is my that's uh, how can I say? Okay. Yeah, how they recognize me? Like, the eight. And also this is my pantalón. Mis botas. My favorite part of the tour was going to the stables to get to say hi to all the horses. So pretty. Oh, oh, hey. What's his name? Oh, no. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. That's the first time. Yeah. Yeah. For his puppy. 
in English, in English it's like daddy. Copy. <laughs> Such pretty eyes you have. Never seen horses with like blue eyes like that. It's so pretty. They're like really stiff. Wow, it's a serious sombrero. Wild, so they have a whole mass that they do before the the charro starts so they can pray to get a good score. I didn't realize like it was gonna be a full-on thing, like everybody it seems like it's all in this small little church now. We just got done with our tour. Now we are in our seats and ready to check out the 12th annual Hacienda Serena International Charo Grand Prix. This is the kickoff day. It's like a multi-day event. People come from all over Mexico and also the U.S. to compete here. We're all situated in our little booth, so I'm gonna go get comfy and get ready for the show to begin. Luckily they had an English MC there who kind of spoke to the crowds and explained what was happening and the scoring process so that you could follow along with the different events and know what was happening. While all these events were very exciting to watch, my favorite part had to be the Escaramuza, the only female event. This consists of eight women dressed in traditional Mexican dresses and sombreros, riding side saddle in what is best described as a synchronized dance on horses. This also has interesting roots in history as it commemorates the female soldiers of the Mexican Revolution who would ride with the men in battle to act as decoys by wearing colorful dresses and performing intricate skills on horseback. <laughs> such a fun day at the rodeo. It was really interesting to get out of the uh, resort and just get to experience a little bit of the local Puerto Vallarta culture. If you're interested in doing that and you're staying here at Bellas Vallarta, they are working on creating a sort of um, package where they will arrange the transportation for you and get you tickets in the same like booth that we were in, which is nicer seats. There's like a bar right inside of there. You can get like micheladas, tequila sodas, beers, different beverages, and they kind of have a server who will come over and take your order and bring you your drinks while you're watching. Be sure to check the description box because I'll have more information about that down there. We are going to grab early dinner. We're going into downtown Puerto Vallarta, so I'm super excited for that. actually 
pretty warm compared to Los Angeles. grabbing a bite at La Ribera for any meal of the day. The beach views never get old and their menu is a nice blend of Mexican, Spanish, and international cuisine, so there's something for everyone, including dessert. We're just here in downtown Puerto Vallarta and doing a little bit of exploring. My vlog camera battery died unfortunately, so I'm going to be on my iPhone for the rest of the night. I hope that's not too annoying. Excited to explore downtown Puerto Vallarta and see some of the nightlife. We popped into this fun Cuban bar for live music and, of course, salsa dancing. yoga fan you're in luck because Velas Vallarta has a morning yoga class that happens here on the jetty at sunrise and it is just so beautiful to be out as the sun comes up hear the waves crashing and get a really restorative yoga session in. Yoga was very relaxing I will say um, the instructor is really nice and it is really nice to just be out on that jetty when the sun is coming up and listen to the waves and just get back connected with yourself. It's definitely more beginner level focused, more about stretching and breathing. Take that for what you will. It's absolutely a gorgeous day here so far. The sun is gonna be out today. I'm really excited to just be on the property today and explore more of what Savelas Vallarta has to offer. <sighs> I could just stay here all day actually. First things first, gotta get ready and then go get some breakfast. A lovely morning so far. I'm just walking to find the spa because I'm going to be getting a 15 minute massage, which I am so excited about. I carry a lot of tension in my back. I gotta work out those kinks every once in a while. I gotta figure out where it is. Oh, I found it. If you love to truly indulge and treat yourself while you're on vacation, you can book a spa treatment here at Bellis Vallarta. They have various different packages and treatments that you can choose from. And if you'd prefer to listen to the sound of the waves while you get your massage, you can do that as well out on the jetty. After a little relaxation in the spa, the pool was calling my name. I love that they have this cool little lazy river that almost connects the two major pools. It definitely seemed like a really fun feature, especially that the kids really loved. Those massages were incredible. Zia, how was your massage? I mean, Look at me, do I look relaxed? She's glowing. <laughs> <laughs> and a little margarita to chase that. Oh, cheers. Cheers. We get to kind of chill by the pool for a little while. Such a refreshing afternoon by the pool. Now we're just taking a tour of the property, checking it all out, getting the VIP treatment on this trip. Yep, lots of drinks, only boozy. I know, I want a cocktail. You came yes. prepared. Help yourself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
our property tour we got to check out a couple different suite styles including this master suite which can sleep seven adults or six adults and two children it has several bedrooms a really large dining kitchen and living area but the best part about it is the balcony this is the room I want to stay in next time I come this is incredible you get your own private pool basically on the roof of the building with insane views everywhere it's amazing yes please but did I mention the views because they're everything After getting the lay of the land, Bellas Vallarta invited us to get in touch with our artistic side. The Mexican culture, we celebrate the dead. They have the so, dead. Dia de Muertos. Dia de Muertos, that's right. Oh my goodness. You are treating us. Will you marry me? <laughs> Doing an artsy activity, we're painting sugar skulls. Let's see how this goes. They told us that we should do better than this. I mean, I don't know about that. Probably could have done more to it if we would have had more time, but I think my little Calvera sugar skull looks pretty good for like an hour. Yeah, it's cute. That was very therapeutic. Little art therapy for the afternoon for sure. Look at that. Look at Greta go. Greta. Almost done. Almost done. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. took a short little shuttle ride over from Bellas Vallarta over to the Tao Beach Club, which is at their adults only property, which is right down the beach. The food here is supposed to be so good. We're excited to dive in. I am so hungry, been just so busy, but it's so beautiful just to see the sunset from here. Our entire experience at Tao Beach Club for dinner was so memorable from the ambiance with this lovely live music to just the ambiance and the vibes to the incredible view and the food. I'm still dreaming about this lobster and the very interesting presentation of dessert. We even got a little table side after dinner magic show. This is the more guy, the first one. Okay. And you're saying stop whatever you want anytime, okay. please. Stop. Stop. Take the card and look and show us. New card, everybody. Look at the card. Okay, new card. Here. Very Thank well. you okay. very much. Excellent. Shuffle one more time like that. Different shuffle in the world. This is a French shuffle, Italian shuffle, a Mexican shuffle. Okay. Yeah, that is good. See, si, see. Si. Oh, watch. <clears throat> in my pocket, I have. Oh, it's a sugar. Sugar, okay? <laughs> Give me your hand, please. It's here. The energy card is here in your hand, invisible. Okay. Now watch. Concentration in the card and watch the glass. Watch. Slow motion. Very well. You're feeling the energy. Now. <laughs> your card is three. <gasps> what? Three diamonds. Oh, let's take it, take it, take it, take it. Your card is a three diamonds, Wait, yes. What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What the yes, heck three diamonds. That? Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes. This is out of control! What? It's our last morning here in Puerto Vallarta. I got up kind of early just so I could come check out the sunrise here on the beach. It's so beautiful. It's so nice and quiet early in the morning. Absolutely beautiful. It's just the perfect weather. It's been the perfect weather this whole trip. So soaking in a little bit more sunshine till I have to go back to LA where unfortunately it's very rainy and cold. I had a little bit more time left before checkout so I thought I might go enjoy the quiet of the pool. People definitely get to the pool so early with their towels to save their spots. Yesterday we could not find a place by the pool. Later in the afternoon it was completely full so just as a little 
pro tip when you're staying here, you gotta wake up early, throw a towel down on your seats to, to save them because people really get on that. I mean, it's early, there's barely anyone out here, but almost all of the lounges have a towel on them so far. And it's 9.30. Early bird gets the worm, I guess, in this situation. For our last meal of the trip, we went to Andrea, which was the other fine dining restaurant on property here. The cool thing about this place at nighttime is they change up the menu and the cuisine every night, so it's always a different nationality. I loved this ricotta toast with the strawberries. It's almost one of my favorite things that I ate here. I'm going to have to recreate this when I get home because I'm still thinking about it today. Well, that wraps up our fun filled couple days here at Bellas Vallarta and we definitely made the most of every second. I hope this video gave you uh, some great info and intel when it comes to staying at this beautiful all-inclusive resort. If you have any questions, you can drop them down in the, the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. We went on this incredible excursion here in Puerto Vallarta last time we were here. So if you guys want to check that video out next, I'll put it right here. 100% worth every penny. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Till then.